Welcome pilots to today's lesson where we discuss how to use the BAP-100 anti-runway bomb with the Mirage 2000 inside of DCS World on the Marianas map. Now I know what you're thinking, why would I ever want to use anti-runway bombs inside of DCS World? Well, I'll tell you why. <laughs> The Jericho. Alright, so you gotta admit that was actually pretty cool, so why wouldn't you want to use this? But for real, the BAP-100 can be useful, especially on multiplayer servers, where you want to be able to prevent the enemy from taking off and landing, and essentially rendering the airfield useless. So what is the BAP-100? Well, it's an unguided, high-drag, rocket-assisted anti-runway bomb. They are delivered just like Snake Eyes using the CCIP release method, and they are excellent against taking out hard reinforced targets like runways. The Mirage 2000 can carry up to 18 BAP-100s, and that's what we have today in this scenario. If you need help taking off and landing in the Mirage 2000, then click up here on the top right or in the description below to find out more. And don't forget, if you want to try out this mission yourself, I have included in the pinned comment below where you can download it and place in your save games folder and follow along. All right, let's get into the pit and let's do some baguette things. All right, welcome to the Mirage 2000. We're finally in the cockpit here. Let's go ahead and get set up. First things first, we want to make sure we turn on our master arm. Select BF-8 for the BAP-100 bombs. Ensure TAS and RS are selected. Come over to the right, turn on instantaneous fuse. We have 18, so we're going to select 18 of them. And for today, we're going to select 14 here. That is a 140 meter spacing, so whatever you select here times it by 10. Today, the runway is 2400 meters, and this ensures that we have a bomb for the whole entire runway. Next, a really cool feature that you can do, this is not required, but you can go to RD for route desire, and you can put in the runway heading. So today, 0680, and click insert. This essentially gives us some vertical bars on the HUD, which guides us to the runway, which is a really cool feature, and we'll demonstrate that. Next, select weapon system aft, so we can click on RD, and you can see on the radar itself, it does have a diagram of the runway heading. Next, we're gonna turn left into the vertical bars from the RD or route desire. You can see those on the HUD right here, and we're gonna put the flight path marker right in between them so we can intercept the runway heading. And again, this is not a required procedure. The only reason I'm doing this is because I like to fly low and it points me in the direction of the runway heading. Right now, I'm just changing the countermeasure program to counter four, so that way I have some flares just in case there are some air defenses at the airfield. All right, so now you can see the route desire is actually moving to the right. We're going to put the flight path marker into the vertical bars and follow that towards the waypoint. So remember, waypoint one is our airfield, which we're going to attack. We're intercepting the runway heading of 068. And you can see right now, if we zoom in, we're directly lined up with the runway heading right now. So now that we're lined up with the runway, we can select weapon system forward to get the CCIP symbology. And we're going to freeze this real quick so we can explain some of the symbology that you see here and just go over the procedure again. So master arm is armed, select BF-8, make sure your radar altimeter is on, radar is on, and TAS and RS are selected on the PCA panel. Make sure you select all 18 of your BAP anti-runway bombs and make sure you select the correct spacing. So today we selected 14 which is 14 times 10, so it's 140 meters between each bomb. So the runway is 2,400 meters, and that should cover the whole entire runway. And we're gonna show you that here in just a second. So starting at the bottom, we have the CCIP pipper, and the wings are displayed when the bombs are set up correctly. So if you don't see any wings here, then you don't have the bomb set up correctly. You also have the bomb fall line, which helps you line up with your target. On the left here, you have your high drag bomb selected. It does say BF, it's not flashing. If it was flashing, that means that the master arm is off. 
here on the left you have your bomb release bracket you need to make sure you're between 300 and 650 feet radar altitude and also going between 500 and 550 knots for this procedure when the ccip pipper crosses the runway threshold we want to press and hold the weapon trigger this will release all of our bombs in the sequence so the ccip pipper is where the first bomb will drop and this break in the bomb fall line is actually where the last bomb will drop and this coincides with the 18 BAP bombs that we set up for a 140 meter spacing. So getting back into the action here, I am slowing down since we're just above 550 knots. So again, between 500 and 550 knots for the speed, in between 300 and 650 feet for the altitude. And you notice here that the CCIP pepper is dancing around. That's from the radar ranging off the terrain. As we cross the runway threshold, I hold the weapon trigger and trying to stay within the bomb release bracket. So right now, all 18 bombs are being sequenced off the aircraft, and this line disappears after the last bomb has been dropped. After that, you are clear to maneuver and get the heck out of there. And always remember to put out your countermeasures in case there's any enemy air defenses. Thank you all for joining me on this journey on how to use the BAP-100 anti-runway bomb in the Mirage 2000. I hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure you join the Discord and also download the mission if you want to try this out yourself. See you on the next video.